plateau with the three massive ground platforms of the three Great Pyramids, the subterranean chamber beneath what is now the Great Pyramid, uh, the megalithic temples, the, the so-called Vali Temple and the, and the Sphinx Temple right beside the Sphinx, and the so-called Mortuary Temples. These are all megalithic that stand beside the Great Pyramids. But those I think, are the three little ones that are next to them? No, no, them those are, are, no, those are the so-called satellite pyramids. Okay. But there are, there are megalithic temples. When, when I say megalithic, you're looking at, at structures where the largest single block weighs 200 tons. These are, these are gigantic, wow. gigantic yeah. blocks of stone. But of particular interest, Right in front of the Great Sphinx is an almost completely ruined one. And then just to the south of the Great Sphinx is a rather intact one uh, called the Vali Temple. And this, this temple is, again, bears evidence of being built in two stages. Uh, because when you look at it, you see that its core is made of limestone, enormous limestone blocks in the range of 50 to 100 tons each, maybe more. You can bring this up, Mark? In the one on the left, you can see the limestone blocks up at the top. That's the original structure. And, yeah. and I and my, my colleagues, and particularly Professor Robert Schock from Boston University, who is a geologist, are of the view that the ancient Egyptians renovated a far more ancient limestone temple. So you can see the weathering on the limestone temple, yeah. and then you can see the granite blocks that were added by the ancient Egyptians. And the, and the puzzle of those blocks is